Hello everyone, and welcome to Andrew Bruce Art Watercolors. Today I'm going to start off a quick oil painting. I'm using the Centurion Linen Painting Panel, um, 8 by 11 I was just uh, filming a painting experiment, and I have a paint left over on the palette. And sometimes it's hard for me to just let some paint go to waste, so I figured why not you know, just get into the painting mode and start a, another painting landscape. So we'll do a tonalist one. We'll use the mixture of sap green and the Italian Pompeii red. It's from Williamsburg Paints Company. go to town. Um, I had just completed a video right before this, and like I mentioned I was painting. Um, I feel like that painting was both a success and a failure. Um, might sound like a contradiction, but the experiment was kind of to see if I could build up a um, I couldn't really find the word for what I was looking for. Essentially, it was a, uh, a film of pigment of oil paint across the, uh, the canvas. So I felt like there was success in what I was looking for. However, the result wasn't really happy with the, uh, the visual result. But I'm going to consider it an underpainting and maybe down the line do some glazing over it and uh, reposition stuff. So just throwing this paint on and we're going to push it around and utilize this as the start of the painting. I don't think I'm going to even break out any brushes. I haven't used any brushes today for uh, the oil painting. I've just been using the palette knife and the paper towel. So while I spread this about, I'll tell you all about my day. So it's Saturday. Um, it's now nighttime. This week was the first full week back for teachers and we had students there for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So it was quite a week. And today, being Saturday, of course I woke up early because that's how it is, you know, once you're back at work, you're, you get onto that zone. So I woke up did a little video talking about kind of sketching out a landscape plan from a photograph. And then from there, did a watercolor painting of that said photograph. So that should be up on YouTube. But I think I released it. I haven't released it yet. Uh, been released for Patreon so far. But that should be uh, eventually for everybody. Then from there, prepped some paper with emulsion for cyanotype. So I could do some of that today. Went inside, mowed the front yard and backyard while that emulsion dried. Though the emulsion didn't really dry at the speed that I needed it to. I really should have done it last night. Um, which kind of throws me off because there's the Van Dyke process where it, um, I'm just going to grab paint from the palette and spread that out while I blab. So the Van Dyke process, which people say use the chemical that day, like try to do it an hour before, use that. And that's like a silver nitrate chemical. The cyanotype 
seems to dry at a much different rate. So I think um, I just have to, in my mind, separate those two processes so that I could think to myself, okay, I could do that one in the evening to prepare the night before. I'm grabbing some black just to start the vignette. Then I rush to the drawing of some of those after I mowed so that I could try the contact prints of my um, first film that I developed. I developed from film at home. I had done some darkroom stuff in college and I developed it there. Here, I had to use a darkroom bag and <laughs> spool it onto the spool. And um, I found this chemical uh, monobath that has the developer and the fixative in kind of one go. And I developed from film, so I tried some contact prints of those with the cyanotype. The end goal is to get, um, I'm going to say it in inches, uh, centimeters and then inches. Six by six centimeter, six by nine centimeter, six by twelve centimeter um, negatives that I can successfully print using the cyanotype or the Van Dyke process. Uh, inches wise, that's about two and a quarter by two and a quarter, two and three fourths, sorry, two and a quarter by three and a quarter, and then, or two and a half, two and a quarter by four and a quarter. Or that's what it'd be in inches. Um, so, not the biggest things, but it's. The goal that I have and then I think a long-term goal would be uh, this is like medium format film to then eventually try large format film by the way if you're watching this and you have any of that stuff and you're like you know what I want to get rid of it please let me know because that's a down-the-line goal for me um, I think it's kind of cost prohibitive right now but want to help a fellow artist out, let me know. And I can... Yeah. Anywho, I'm grabbing the lamp black now. Yeah, let's make these sides come up like that. Um, what else? Okay. Then from there, just talking about my day, I went, did a little bit of photography stuff. Talked to old man Bill across the street. Took a nap. It wasn't really a successful nap. It was kind of one of those like lay in bed type things. And then um, I just started oil painting. Use this uh, black to kind of darken our tones, create our darks and our shadows, bring things to life. And we'll call this starting an oil painting, starting a tonalist oil painting with just a paper towel.
Percy Pooh the cat was taking a nap next to me. She went away. Let's uh, twist up the paper towel. Let's see if we can pull out some hints of um, tree trunks. The linen doesn't lift nearly as easy as a smooth gesso board or a smooth hard board. Kind of have to really work at it. On our light rice horse right there. And I think what might be important is to get that light right there. some black help it sit in place I think we'll stop this one here and in a few days when it dries I'll do some oil uh, glazing on it and if you'd like me to film that let me know I uh, hope you enjoyed. I will talk to y'all soon. Please like, subscribe, follow. Uh, please consider supporting me on Patreon. If you would like um, artwork by me, I do have an Etsy account, so you can check that out down below. And if you ever follow along with one of these paintings, you're more than welcome to follow along, and you're more than welcome to sign your own name to whatever you uh, follow along with, and to uh, go ahead and sell it. You have my express permission because I want to see you guys succeed and um, have money for art supplies and grow and build that confidence. All right, y'all take care. Have a great day. Bye.